Now we will continue from the point where we have stopped last. Uh, next is about the source of food from the birds and the birds particularly those two who eat flesh and they squeeze prasaha those pull the food and then eat uh, kaka kanka kurara chasa bhasa shashaghati uruka uruka chili shena grutha prabhutaiha prasaha uh, of course uh, kaka uh, the crow common crow and uh, the shashaghati is uh, the eagle uh, shena also is a variety of the eagle now these uh, any, uh, birds which eat on the non-vegetarian food, they are rather carnivorous birds and their uh, flesh is having the same qualities as that of the wild animals. Ede simhadivi sarves manaha vayasadeha rasavirya vipakeshu visheshatu shoshine hitaha These have a similar property as that of the wild animals flesh and they are very specifically useful in shoshavyadhi. Now uh, again that's a very interesting issue. The food and the medicine, uh, the debate whether the food and the food medicine are different or the food and the medicine are the same. Ayurveda considers the food as well as medicine almost of the same lines. Now, in the contemporary medicine, as we have referred to earlier also, nutrition and the nutrition specialty is something different discipline and the medicine is a different discipline. And whereas uh, from Ayurvedic point of view, Food and medicine, there is not much of a difference, of course. It's always when you use a substance for its taste, uh, then rasam uh, ahara. When it is used for the taste, then it's ahara. When the same is used for virya, the virya pradhanaha aushari. That's how the difference. Now, these are all very interesting issues. Then the next is mudga, mushika, vruksha shai. The animals which live on uh, plants are herbivorous animals like vanara, monkey and then the rats and so on. They are madhuraha, guravaha, vrushyaha, chakshushyaha, shushinahitaha, sasamutta purushasya, kasa, arshas, shvasanashanaha. The flesh of these animals are madhura. Uh, sweet in taste, Guru Guna, Vrishya, and then they are used in the diseases like Shosha, Kasa, etc. Then Shavita, Shalya, uh, Shalyaka, Godha, Shasha, Shasha, Vrishya, Damcha, Lopaka, Loma, Lomasha, Karna, Lomasha, Karna, Kadali Mruga, Priya, Kadali Mruga, Priya Kata, Gara, Sar, Sarpa Mushika, Nakula, Mahabhu, Prabhutayaha, Bileshayaha, Bileshayaha, the animals which live in small caves, like and uh, the animals which uh, move about. Shwabitu is uh, a sort of what we call as a wild dog, like dog variety species of wild. Godha is lizard. Uh, Shasha, of course, so the rabbits. So, so on. So, you will have plenty of such many animals, and uh, uh, almost every animal was eaten at that period. Now we usually joke on Chinese, like Chinese eat every food, but in uh, uh, that period in India also every variety of the animal was eaten, but it was not eaten at random. The food was, uh, the qualities of the food were known, studied and then only when there is a need, they would be using it both as medicine as well as uh, the food. So that's the interesting point. In general, they would be producing constipation and Ushna Virya, Swadhupaka, and they reduce the Bata and Shleshma Pitta, they may Kapha and Pitta may be increased and useful in Kasa, Shwasa, Kasya. Whereas among them, Shasha, that's the rabbits, they are Pitaka Papaha, Nati Shital Vijayat Pata, Vata Sadharanaha. They are good for Vata. Then Godha, the lizard, household lizard. Vipakya Madhuraha, Kashaya Katuka Hasmudaha, Vata Pitta Prashimani, Brumhani, Balavardhani. These are the properties of Godha. 
Shalyaka is another uh, insect which is, uh, we do not know, but it is, uh, to equate it to the current situation is quite difficult. Swadhubhittagnaha laghu shikaha vishabaha priyako maurte pakya ajagaraha ajagarastu ashrasamita. Ajagara is a crocodile, even crocodile was eaten. Durnama anila doshagnaha krimi dushi vishabaha ha chakshusya muthara pake sarpaha medhavni vardhanaha sarpaha snakes, they are used in uh, Himalayas, Vatash uh, uh, Vyadhi, Krimi Vyadhi, and Dushi Vishapaha, Chakshusha. Then Darvikara, Darvikara is again another variety of the snakes, and Darvikara and Deepaka, these are the varieties of the snakes. They are Katupakinaha, Madhurashta, Ati Chakshusha, Sister in Mutab Mardaha. Then Ashwa, Ashwatara, Gok, Khara, Ustra, Basta, Urabra, Medha Puchaka Prabhupada, Gramyaha, Gramyaha. The domesticated animals and the domesticated animals, uh, horse, even cows, and uh, the donkeys, uh, camel, uh, even goat, these were used and so on. They were used as the food. And now, of course, they do use. Gramyaha in general, Vataharaha, Sarve, Brumaha, Kapapitalaha, Madhuraha, Rasapaka, Bhyam, Deepanaha, Balavardhanaha. Majority of the domesticated animals would have Vataharaguna and uh, Brumaha, Kapapitaha. Kapha Pitta Raha, they increase the Kapha and Pitta, Rasa and Paka will be Madhura. Nandishito Guru Sridhaha Mantra Pitta Kapha Sridhaha Chagalas to Anabishyandi Tesham Pina Sanashana Ha. Chagala is a goat variety and it will be Nandishitaha Guru and Pina Sanashana Ha used in Pina Sa, chronic rhinitis. Brimha Masam Mamsam Aurabham Pitta Shleshma Avaham Guru. Aurabha is a variety of the donkey, Urabha donkey. And is a Brumhana and Pitta Shleshma Vaha. May the Pucha Bom Rusham Aurabha Sadusham Kunehi. May the Pucha is also another animal, quite difficult to make out, but it is uh, something like uh, the um, your pig like animal. And it's Drishya and Aurabha Sadusham, same as Aurabha. Shwasakasa Pradesha, Vishamit Dwaranasham, uh, Shrama Atyak Hitam Gavyam Pavitram Anilapaham. Even Gomamsa was being eaten in those days and it is used in Shvasakasa, Pratishaya, Vishamadvara and Shrama, it reduces Shrama and it's Pavitra, it is also considered as holy. Uh, again the controversy about the flesh of cow being used now, meat, cow meat uh, and we will not go into that part but uh, practice of eating that was existing in those days. Aurabha Vatsalavanam uh, Mamsam Eka Shapod Bho, Eka Shapod Bho, that's uh, uh, the animals which have only single who, like the sheep, they and uh, they would be having Lavanarasa and Alpa Abhishandi Ayam Vargaha, Jangala Sundarha. So, in general, the Jangala Varga would be Alpa Abhishandi. Dure Janantha Nilayaha, Dure Paniya Gocharaha, Yemrugascha, Vishangascha, Te Alpa Abhishandi Nomataha. Those animals in general, which would be living away from the habitat of human being or those who live away from the source of water are birds. They in general would be alpha abhishandi. They would not produce abhishandha to the same extent as that of the animals which live near water or live among the people. Ativasana nilayaha. Adiva asana nilayaha, sami podaka gocharaha, yendra shrihir kashta mahasya abhishan nilastute. Now, the same, the controversy, the opposite is those who live close to their habitat and they do not do much about. And sami podaka gocharaha, those who live very close to water, they would be, and vihangaha, uh, birds uh, and animals which of that character. They tend to produce Abhishandivana. The basic issue is animals which have to move for a longer distance, walk or maybe fly for a longer distance, their flesh should be having less Abhishandivana and those animals and birds which do not move much, do not do much exercise, they would be having Abhishandivana. So that's the practical issue of that. That's about the jangle work. Then Anupavarga, the animals of Anupal area or Anupavarga, which uh, near, uh, live near water or in water, Kulacharaha, Klobaha, Koshasthaha, Padinaha, Masyashteti, they are classified into Kulacharaha is a, uh, they uh, live 
both on any uh, land as well as on the water, very close to the water. Pravaha, which can float on the water. Koshastaha, which would have a shell and then live in water. Padinaha, the animals, aquatic animals, which have a poop like structure. Matsyaha, the fish. Gaja, Gavaya, Mahisha, Ramut, Marasuka, Amana Rohita, Varaha, Khandi, Gokarna, Kalapuchaka, Angurani, Gavaya Prabhupada, Kulacharaha, Pashavaha, Pashavaha, the big animals which are Kulachara, they are on the border of the water and they need water source. They are Gaja Gavaya, Gaja is an elephant, Gavaya is a a wild sort of the cow, Mahish also wild so, and these are the different animals. To identify those exact animals would be quite difficult. They are the Kulacharaha Pashavaha and their properties are Vatapitaharaha Vrushyaha, Madhudaha, Rasapaka Yoho, Shitraha, Balina, Snigdaha, Mutraha, Kapavardaraha. In general they are Kapavardaraha. Then Virukshana, Lekhanastya, Viryoshnaha, Pittadushanaha, Swadvamla, Lavanastesham, Gajaha, Shleshma, Nilapaha. The flesh of an elephant would be Virukshanaha, Lekhana and Ushnavirya and increases the Pitta. Uh, then Gavayaha, Gavaya is a, a wild sort of cow. Uh, the Gavayastu Mamsan, Gavayasya Mamsan tum snigdham madhurakasa jita, vipake madhuram japi, yavayasya tu badhanam. They tend to enhance the sexual capacity. Then similarly you have the other animals. It's quite difficult to make out which are those animals, so we'll just casually read about. Snigdhastha madhuro vrushyaha mahishat tarpano guruho nidra punstha balas tanya vardhano mamsa dhardhe krada mahisha again wild buffalo, uh, be the animal property. Ruruhu, ruroho mamsam samadharam kashaya norasam sudam vatapitto prushamanam guru shukra vivardhanam the word meaning of Ruru, according to dictionary, is a horse, but here it's something sort of a wild horse. Tasa cha, chamara maam samcha, that's chamara mrida. The snigdham madhurakasa jita, vipake madhuram chapi, vata mitta pranashanam. Then srimara, srimara is another animal, again quite difficult to make out exactly which is animal, I don't have any information. Srimara su maam samcha kashaya maam samcha, vata pitto prashamanam, guru shukra vivardhanam. Svedanam, Brimhanam, Rushyam, Shitaram, Tarpanam Guru, Shamanilaharam, Snigdham, Varaham. Varaha is the pig, uh, pig Varaha. Balavardhanam, mm, uh, yeah, Varaha is uh, this, boar, bear, bear, whale, bear. Kafagnam, Khargavishitam, Khargivishitam, uh, Kashayam, Anilapaham, pit, uh, Rhinoceros, Khargi is a Rhinoceros. Pitriyam, Pavitram, Aishyam, Vardhamutram, Virokshanam is a Pitriyam in, in the sense the flesh of that is supposed to be auspicious for offering to the ancestors, Pitras, during Shraddha. Then Gokarna Mamsam, Gokarna is again another sort of animal, again to point out would be difficult. Madhuram, Snigdham, Radu, Kapapaham, Kapavaham, Vipake, Madhuram, Chapi, Ratta, Pitta, Vinashanam. That's about one set of the animals. Then, the Hamsa, Sarasa, Kraudja, Chakravata, Kulara, Kadambaka, uh, Karanda, Jivanjivaka, uh, uh, Baka, Balaka, Pundarika, Plava, Sharadi Mukha, Nandi Mukha, then, uh, yeah, Nandi Mukha, Madgut, uh, uh, yeah, Krosha, Kacha, Aksha, Mandika Aksha, Shukla Aksha, and Pushkara Shai, Kaka, Kako Naraka, um, then uh, Kukudi, Kukudika, Medhava, Shvetavarala, Prabhudaya, Plavaha, these are all the different Plavaha, those who live on water as well as uh, the ground, uh, amphibians, which can be uh, classified as amphibians. They could be some birds like Hamsasarasa, or others it could be some animals uh, as such. So to identify again these animals would be difficult. Majority of them are birds. Sharari Mukha, Nandi Mukha, these are this, uh, were very popular in Sushra period. You will get this uh, description of the Sharari Mukha, it could be like Kingfisher bird, uh, in the context of the Yantras also, in the function of the Yantras. So Sharari Mukha also is mentioned there. 
So from that point of view, Shala Mukha and Nandi Mukha birds were very common, popular in those days. Then Ratha Pitaha, Shila, Hasnitaha, Rushaha, Marujitaha, Sasamuta Purushasta, Madhuraha, Sapaka Yoho. In general, they are Ratha Pitaha and they are Madhura Vipaka. Gurushna Madhura Snigdaha, Sura Varnabara Pradaha, Brimanha, Shukas Desham, Hamsa, Vata Vikarana, Hamsa, the swan, uh, it would have Gurushna Madhura Snigdha, Sura Varnabara Pradaha. Then, Shankha, Shankhanaka, Shukti, Shambuka, Bhalluka, Pradayaha, Koshastaha. Then the Koshastha, a Shankha, which have shell, like uh, the, uh, even, uh, the creatures with the shells, mollusks, different variety of mollusks. Uh, these are the different varieties of mollusks, Shambuka, Bhalluka, etc. They are the different variety of uh, the mollusks. Then Kurma, Kumbhira, Karkataka, Krishna Karkataka, Shishumara, Pradayaha, Padinaha. Padina, the examples would be kurma, these um, tortoise, and its varieties, different varieties of that. Then shanka kurma leha swadar sabakaha marunadaha, shitaha, snigdaha, hitaha, pitte varchasyaha, shleshma varthanaha. These in general, kurma leha, these uh, shanka and kurma, these uh, shelled animals as well as uh, the um, uh, tortoise like animals. They would be having Shankha Kurma Padinaha, those who have limbs like structures, they would be having Swadra Sapaka, Swadra Sapaka, uh, Swadra Sa, and uh, even Madhura Vipaka, Marunudaha, they reduce Vata, Shita Hasnita Hite Pitte Varjasya, then Krishna Karkata Ghatesham Bandeha, Kosno Anilapaha, Shukla Sandhana Kadha, Sister Vinmutro Anilapitaha. Krishna Karkata is one more variety of the uh, animal which we do not know. Maybe some variety of the, uh, the uh, uh, this, uh, yeah, Karkata ka, um, uh, Capricorn. Now, uh, Sandhana Krita, it helps in Sandhana. Then Matsyastu, Matsyaha, now we about the other food, uh, source of food from the present point of view, to info, have some information in the present point of view, it's quite difficult to get that information. Uh, whether the people, uh, custom of using those as a food or not, maybe may not be very popular in our area, but in some areas, in some communities, these kinds of food habits do exist. Then, Marchas, fishes are mainly of two categories, Nadeyaha, Samudraha, Riverine and uh, the Saline, or which live in Saline matter. And Nadeyaha, the names of the fishes uh, from the river, Rohita, Patina, Patala, Rajiva, uh, then Varmi, Gomatsya, uh, Krishna Matsya, Agunjara, uh, then Sahasram Stakprabhatyaha. In general, the Nadeyaha, the fish from the river, they are Mathuraha, Matsyaha, Guravaha, Matabaha. Rakta Pitagarasta, Ushna, Rushaha, Snithal, Pavarchasaha. They are Madhura Rasa and Bark Maldabaha. Then Kashaya Anurasa Stasham, Shashma Shaivar Bhujanaha. Rohito Maldaharaha, Nathyatha Pitakopanaha. Rohita Matsya is one more variety to exactly point out which is that fish. I don't have that potential. Maybe those who are well versed with this uh, species of biology of fishes, they may be able to point out which is the Rohita Matsya and uh, it is a Kashaya Narasa and uh, it, it lives on the vegetable source, Shashpa Shaiva and Bhujanaha and hence uh, it will be Natyatam Pitakopanaha. Patina has Shleshmalaha, Patina is another variety of uh, the fish would be Vrushyaha, then Nitralu, another of the fish is Nitralu and Vishilashanaha because it lives on some other animals, they would be Dushaya Rakta Vitam. Now, whether the fish will be living on or uh, the habitat or uh, food habit of the uh, fish is herbivorous or carnivorous. This also makes a difference in the impact of the fish over the body. And uh, the, those uh, carnivorous fishes would be having taroti. They tend to produce a kushta and they enhance the uh, rattabitta. Whereas uh, herbivorous, they are considered as a uh, Marutaharaha, Natyatam Pitakopanaha. They, they do not enhance the pitta to a great extent. Now, when you eat fish, this also is necessary. Like, uh, you should know which type of the fish you eat, and the physiological impact of that fish would be different. 
ಮುರಲ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ವೃಷ್ಯ ಸಂಜ ರೇಷ್ಮಗರ ಸದ ಮುರಲ ಈಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ವೆರೈಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ವಿದಾರ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ವೃಷ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾವು ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಡೇ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗುಡ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಿಶ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟು ಎ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ the physiological impact the properties nutrition value of these also can be made out that fresh water and sea fish their species are available but i will not go into that detail for those who are interested in they can get that information and nutrition value is available but it's not that uh, the physiological impact is uh, seen moreover to identify which is the exact species mentioned by susuda and which is the species as i did fade now it leaves needs a lot of research so yeah, at that at this moment it may not be possible for me to point out which are those species then sarastadata sambhuta ha snigda ha swadrasa ha smuta ha mahasadesh badina ha sarpe ambasi abala ha smuta ha then the physiological impact of food, the fish as a food also would be a varying depending upon the source where they are living or their habitat those who live in or uh, those who are cultivated in sarastada in ponds they are snigdaha then swadarasaha in mahasada a very huge pond they would be strong badina then solpe embassy if they are cultivated in the lake with small water, uh, quantity of water as in the case of your aquariums uh, then abalaha they would be weaker now this also is a uh, quite significant uh, we need to appreciate these details to which the ancestors have gone in then the samudra the fish from the samudra sea uh, saline fishes uh, they are timi timingala kurisha kurisha paaka matsya then nandivara then gardara chandrakarma chandrakam mahasi mahamena radiva prabhudaya ha again to identify which are these species i don't have that competence then samudra ha gurava snigda ha madura ha natipitala ha usna ha bada ha vrshya ha vrchasya ha shleshma vardhana ha in general the sea water fish would be having shleshma vardhana property and vada ha then balava ha visheshena mamsa shripata samudra ja ha samudra jebhyo nadeya ha brahmana tvata gunothara ha the in general the samudra uh sea origin fish would be having more uh, uh, calorie origin balavaha they enhance the strength of the body and uh, mamsa shipata because they eat fish uh, they live on uh, carnivorous uh, food habit uh, whereas uh, comparatively the brahma nagaya ha brahmana pata in general the river water riverine fish is uh, having more brahmana guna and is more at this acceptable than the sea water fish from the current uh, perception point of view sea water fish is considered to be more healthy than river water fish uh, in general and uh, from the taste point of view it is considered like a, uh, river water fish is considered to be more tastier than the sea water fish this is how the general notion of course mm, i don't have much detail i don't have an experience of that so uh, those who have mm, some experience may be mm, able to make out exactly similarly then depending upon the source teshama panilagna tvat chautya kopyo gunottaro snigta tvat swatvata tvat tayo vapya ha gunadika ha chautya kopi these are the water sources kupa and chauti we have discussed when we have discussed about the water sources uh, source of the wells those uh, fishes which are uh, cultivated in these wells would be having gunottar they would be much better whereas sigdhatva tanpa karta tayo vapya those who live in vapi that's again a water source where you will have steps ponds where you can get into the steps and get into the water they are considered to be having gunadika they are better as such then in general they have to identify whether the fish is from the sea or from the river in fish the physiology and the anatomy of these also were detailed very well in the text this is a very interesting issue in the current biology you have a typical physical appearance of the fish of riverine water and the fish of saline in the uh, saline uh, uh, yeah in the riverine water uh, the fish would be having a dilute urine 
and uh, it will be having a relatively elongated body. Whereas the core part of the body in a sea fish would be thicker. This is how the biology could be identified. Now what uh, Sushruta has said is something different. That's the very interesting issue. Nadeyaha gurava madhye esmat puchasya jarinaha sarastadaka janant na visheshena shiro laghu. Now according to Sushruta, the fish which live in river because they have to float against the flow, they are core part of the body would be thicker and uh, they would be having and uh, whereas the uh, fishes which live in a constant or steady water like Sarastadaga etc they would be having Lagushira the head would be smaller Adhula Gotara Hesma Tasmat Utsoga Panadaha Kinchit Mukta Shiro Desham Atyartam Guravastute and uh, because they do not move much the fishes which live in uh, st uh, steady water, they do not move much and hence uh, they would be having a relatively wider mouth and the but uh, buttock area, they would be much wider and uh, in general except the head portion cut after the head portion is separated then this relative, the remaining parts of the body would be atyastam guravaha, they would be heavier then Adasthat Guravo Jnaya Matsyaha Sagar Sambhavaha The uh, fishes of sea would be having Adasthat Guravaha The lower part of the body would be wider This is what Charak Sushul has said Then now um, from the current biology point of view the perception is slightly different Then Urov Jananath Tesham Puro Mangam Lagu Smutam Because they tend to have more force on the uh, chest area the Puramangam, the front area would be having relatively thinner, whereas the back portion would be relatively wider. It is Anupo Mahashandi Mamsargaha Udhiritaha. Now, the, whether there is a difference of opinion now and so on, that's not the point. The point is, they had even had that kind of a perception or knowledge of identifying the source of the fish by looking at its body. So the detail uh, and the scientific approach uh, used in that period has to be appreciated. Now, then about the Mamsa, general rule about the non-vegetarian food is Shushka Puti Vyadhi Visha Sarpahata Digdha Vidha Ajirna Krisha Bala Ram Asatma Chari Namcha Mamsani Bhakshani When you have to eat flesh, you have to consider the source of animal like uh, whether that uh, food is dried or decayed or if even that animal, whether it was healthy or unhealthy and one of the important is Asatma Jarinam, animals which have, uh, which are living on food which is not really Satma, which is not really natural for them also is Abhaksha. Now most of the cultivated farm animals, they are the Asatma Jaris and uh, now when you get the uh, food, uh, they say, uh, non vegetarian food is always from this Asatmujari food uh, source as such. Then, Esmat Vigata Vyapanna, Vyapanna, Apahata Parinata, Parinata, Alpa Asam Purna Birat Path Doshakarani Bhavati, Yebhu Anesha Mupadeyam Mamsamiti. Uh, even uh, those who are deceased and those who are the, uh, their. Uh, um, uh, vitality is reduced or they are weaker as such, they are also not to be selected as the source of the food. Uh, then, Arotakam Pratishayam Guru Shushkam Pratirtinam, the Shushka uh, dried uh, meat would be producing Arotaka and Pratishaya. Vishabhyadhyatam Nutyam Balam Chardin Chakopayata, Vishabhyadhyata, if the animal is killed with the Visha or diseases, it can even produce death. Then very tender young animals, they are, can produce chardi and kashiswasakaram bruddham. Very old uh, animals, they may produce kashiswasa. Tridosham vyajidushitam, uh, diseased, having disease, it can enhance the tridosha. Tulinam utklesha janam, if it is moist, then it can produce utklesha. Krisham vata prakopanam, uh, very weak animal can produce vata prakopanam. So, before you eat the meat, you also have to know about the condition of the source of the meat. Then, 
in general again there is another of the detail striya chatush patsu pumam su dehangeshu mahasharireshu alpasharirah alpasharireshu mahasharirah pradhanatamah evam ekajatiya na mahasharire bhakrasha sharirah pradhanatamah whenever you cut the animal or when you use the animal for the food source if it is about the four legged animals then the female flesh meat is better among the birds vihangeshu male flesh is better if the in general the character of the animal is of a big bird like elephants then alpasharirah the relatively thinner animal among that species is better whereas alpasharirah do should have a relatively smaller body the bigger one among them is a better pradhanatamah so even from the physiological point of view and the uh, gender of the animal also would be having a physiological impact these are all very elaborate and interesting issues uh, they need to be verified whether that's really true or not uh, from the current point of view so a lot of area for further research in that area those who are interested in this field you can study this in detail then uh, i am not able to give a definite opinion like whether these are true or not anyway that's another issue स्थानाधिकृतम मांस से गुरु लाघव उपदेशाम हां तद यथा रक्तादिषु शुक्रांतेषु धातुषु उत्तरोत्तरा गुरुतरा तथा शक्ति स्कंध को क्रोध शिर पाद कर कटी पृष्ठ चर्म कादयक यकद अंतराणि नाउ द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द बॉडी एनिमल सोर्सेस इट नीड नॉट बी ओनली द मीट इट कुड बी रक्त शुक्र फ्रॉम रक्त धातु टू द शुक्र धातु they are gurudaraha gradually they would be having enhanced guru property similarly in the meat or the flesh from the sakti the thighs skanda shoulder then kroda the buttocks uh, shiraha head and pada the foot kara and so on and charma kalayaka charma from the subcutaneous area and antra the yakrut and antra Now, liver and the intestines they also gradually increase in the guruness so sakti mark uh, fresh the fresh from the thighs is considered to be lagu whereas uh, intestines they are considered to be more guru yakrut uh, liver also consider the guru variety so those who eat liver kheema and maybe this uh, with that fresh what is that chicken i don't know the name of chicken sticks huh? chicken sticks Uh, sakti is a chicken sticks and liver kima uh, i don't know so again i am not an expert in that so just a casual reference if i am wrong correct me uh, correct yourselves like then shiras kandam ghati prastha sakti nicha atma paksha yo ho guru puram vijani yat vata vastu dhatu vastu yathottaram again the same is repeated shiras kanda kati prasti sakti uh, and the atma paksha that's the sides they are पूर्व गुरु दी पूर्व दे शिरा इज मोर गुरु एज आत्म भक्षण द साइज आर कंपैरेटिवली लेस गुरु एंड सिमिलरली द धातु आल्सो हैड टू बी एसेस्ड देन सर्वस्य प्राणिनो देहे मध्ये गुरु उदाहरतः पूर्व भागो गुरु पुंसां अधो भागस्तु योषिदा इन जनरल ऑल एनिमल्स द मध्य भाग द मिडिल पोर्शन कोर पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी इज कंसीडर टू बी मोर गुरु एंड अगेन फर्दर मोर इन मेल जेंडर्स दैट्स वेल the uh, animals of male type would be having puro bhaga guru the uh, front part of the body is guru whereas a female it will be adho bhaga the uh, posterior portion of the body would be more guru then uro kriyam vihaka nam visheshana guru smutam the chest and neck portion of the birds are considered to be more guru then paksha ukshepat samo drishto madhya bhagastu pakshanam madhya bhaga the mid core of the body of birds is considered to be more accessible they are sama or uh, they are more accessible from as a source as a. then atiya ruksham mamsa to bihanga nam phalashinam brahmanam mamsa atyartam khala nam pishtashinam matsashinam pittakaram vatagnam dhanya charinam now the food habits of the birds also could be producing an impact on the quality of the uh, flesh Falashan, those birds which live on fruits only, uh, the fruitivorous birds, their uh, flesh would be ativa ruksham mamsam. They are ruksham mamsam. Whereas uh, pishtashinam, those who live on uh, uh, carnivorous sources, uh, they would be having brumhana. Their flesh would be having brumhana. Matsashinam, those who live on fishes, 
that would be Kittagara Mata Granja. Then Jalaja Anubaja Gramyaha, Kratchat Yekadesha Shapasada, Prasaha, Bilavasa, Yeja Janghara Sanjida, Janghara Sanjida, Prasuda Havishkara Shiva, Lagava Sweto Teram, Alpha Vishnana Shiva, Esa Purun, Ato Anyada. Now Janghara variety of the animals, Janghara variety of the animals are those who are uh, either close to the water or those who have Yekashapa, that uh, the, uh, only one who like uh, sheep and so on. In general, these birds are considered to be Laghu, from starting from Jalaja, uh, the water source, to the Vishkira, the birds which tend to eat the uh, grains from the floor, they are Laghavahai Thottaram. Gradually, uh, uh, Lagu. So, Vishkira is more Lagu, Jalaja is a comparative Guru. And Alpha Vishnu is Cheva, Etha Purun, Ato Anyatha. Then, Pramana Dikas to Sujata, uh, Sujata, Alpasara Guravashta, Saro Praniram, Saro Shiri, Pradana Bhavati, Yakrata, Pradesh Vartinaha, Tan Adhita, Pradhan Alabe, Madhima Vestam, Sadhyaskam, uh, Akrishtam, Bade, Mamsamiti. Now, Saro Praninam, Saro Shari Rebe Pradhan Tamaha Bhavati, Yakrata, Yakrata Pradesha. Yakrata Pradesha is considered to be the most superior as, as, as source of the food. Then Pradhan Alabe, if you cannot get that proper animal in terms of uh, all the other properties, love, like uh, the food habits, the body size and the, uh, the gender of that animal, so on. Then Madhyamayaskam, a middle-aged animal has to be used. And Sadhyaskam, it should be killed instantaneously. So whether it's a halal cut or jhatka cut. So according to Sushura, it's a jhatka cut. Uh, it should be killed immediately. Then Akrishtam should not be hurt. Such a food is a considered as a better source. Bhavati Jatra, Chara Shriya Vaivaha Subhavo Dhatava Kriyaha Lingam Pramanam Samskaro Matraja Asmin Parikshade. So a general rule is uh, if the body part is having a more mobility, that kind of food is considered, that source of the food is considered to be more local and uh, similar, based upon that it can be considered. Anyway, that's about the Mamsarga. Of course, uh, the details which can provide you with the Mamsarga is a comparatively lesser asset. Then next is the Palavarga, the fruits of, which are considered as a source of the food. Atapurdham Palani Upadekshamaha. Tadyada, Dadima, Amalaka, Badara, Kola, Karkandu, Savira, Sinchitaka, then uh, Kapitha, Matulunga, Amrataka, Karamanda, Priyala, Naranda, Jambira, Lakucha, Bhavya, Parabata, uh, Vetrapala, Pratina Amarata, Tintirika, Nipa, Koshamra, Amrika, Prabhupada. In general, the properties of Phala are fruits are Amlani Rasarat Pake, Guru, Nusnani Viryataha, Pitalani, Anilagnani, Kaput Kleshakaranita. In general, these Fruits are amlavarga. They would have comparatively primary uh, sour taste as their basic taste, and they are group uh, ushnevirya and uh, parpaka is guru as such. Then pitalani. Now among them, the pomegranate, the dadima. Kashayam rasam tesham dadimam nati pitalam deepaniyam rutikaram hridyam varcha vivandanam duvidam tattu vijnayam madhuram cha amlam eva cha trito shagnam madhuram. Amram Vatakapa Abham. Dadima or pomegranate is now also very popular source of the food and it's considered to be very nourishing. And what Sushra has said is it's Deepaniya, Ruchikara, Hridya, and Varcha Vivendanam. It produces constipation. Again, there are two varieties Madhura and Amla. Sweet variety and the sour variety of the pomegranate is used. The nutrition value of pomegranate now is known. It has rich vitamins, maximum amount of vitamins and to a great extent, minerals also, and hence pomegranate is considered to be very healthy food even now. Then the next is uh, Amram Samadharam Tiktam Kashayam uh, Katukam Saram Chakshusham Sarudarshakram Rusham Amalaki Param. Then the Amalaki Param. Uh, Amalaka is also considered among the medicines as well as uh, source of the food. Hanti Vatam Taram Lakvata Pittam Madhriya Shetitaha Kapam Ruksha Kashaya Pata Palevhu Bi Adhyatikam Chadata. About the Amalaki philanthropists, we have already discussed in detail in the Dravyagara chapter. Now, here again it is referred to, and the fruits of that is used as a source of food, also, food source, also, as well as used in the medicine. 
and it also is considered to be very rich in vitamins and vitamin C is a major uh, uh, content in the uh, amaranth fruit and it's now well known it's very popular and uh, uh, the health benefits of this uh, philanthropic fruit also is a very well known now then kakand kola badaram amam pitta kapha maham pakkam pitta nilaharam snitham samudharam saram puradanam trishamanam samagnam deepanam lagu samviram badaram snitham madhuram vatapitta jit kashayam swadu sangrahi shitam kinchit kapha maham the badara what we call as badara fruit is bogai bogai and uh, it has uh, again karkandu and kola badar all of them when they are uh, not ripened they can enhance the pitta and kapha and pakkam uh, if it is fully ripened they reduce the pitta and uh, vata snig the madhura sara and if it is stored dried badar fruit when it is dried and kept presented as a dry fruit then trishamanam samagram deepanam it uh, reduces the thirst and reduces the uh, this uh, tiredness and it enhances the param and saviram badaras uh, saviram badaram now a yeah, badara fruit which is uh, available in the savira desh savira desh is madhya pradesh area and that it, it would be snigdham madaram matpitta jit uh, there is a difference in the quality from that part also kapitham is uh, another of the popular fruit which is also available now and uh, it's also quite popularly used amam kapitham Aswaryam, Kapagnam, Grahi, Vatram. Again, Kapitha, if it is uh, Ama, then again it would be having uh, kapha, uh, Kapagna and Grahi property. Whereas, uh, if it is Pakkum, Madhura Amladasam, Guru, if it is uh, ripened, then it would have Amladasa and Guru, Shwasaka, Saruchi, Haram, Krishna, Agnam, Kanta, Shodham. It improves the Kanta property as such. is the wood apple wood apple is a the kapitta which is again very popular used and you can get the prepared things also the important is it contains phenol to a great extent that uh, total phenol and it's considered to be very uh, heavy in antioxidant capacity it's considered to be and hence it's also now being used as a medicine and often it's claimed to be having benefit in uh, the management of malignancy also then matrunga is again a very popular food citrus medica and that the properties are the laghamlam deepan mhrityam matalangam dahatam tvak tikta durjara tasya vata krimi kapapah swadu shitam guru snigdham mamsam malta pitta jit medhyam shula nila chandi kapa arojaka nashanam deepanam laghu sandrahi kulma ashodham trikesaram shula ajirna vibhandeshu mande agno kapamalte arujav tivisheshena rasas tasyo prishade the properties of matalanga and its different parts are different the tok the bark the outer part of the uh, fruit would be having tikta rasa and it's difficult to be digested and vata uh, vata krimi kapapah it reduces the vata and krimi whereas the fresh portion swadushitam guru snitam mamsam that fleshy portion of that would be malta pitta jit medhyam shula nila chati kapalo jaka nashanam so for the chandi nigrahana now uh, matrunga akhan is considered as a one of the remedy for the chatti and uh, matrunga rasayan is very popular we use for the chatti uh, of pregnancy and there you have to use the mamsa that fleshy portion then kesara uh, the fine fibers which are present within they would be having deepan and lagu sangrahi guna shulari and abhishek vandeshu mande agna kapamarte these uh, are used and then the rasa the total juice of that would be aruti utvishesana used in aruti Uh, the nutrition value of this are uh, available uh, as the time is near we will stop today we will continue in the next session if there are any questions i will try to answer can go right okay no questions so right thank you